Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. This time I uh, got a project I've been thinking about for quite a few years. I picked this little Briggs and Stratton up in 2003 or 2004 at a yard sale. I uh, bought it mostly just because of the gearbox. I thought probably I could use it for some parts, but never did. And had thoughts of a different kind of project. And there's a price on there of six bucks. And over on the gas tank, there's a four dollar price. But if I remember right, I got it for two bucks. And I get up close, you can see that it was in a gunfight and lost. Took a couple right there in the coil and took some in the gas tank. And if we come over here, you can see some exit wounds. So my plan is I'm going to try to make a setup where I get this thing running on life support. Back in 2004, <clears throat> my dad was in the hospital. By the way, he's the guy that got me started into this engine stuff. And I'd go to visit him and he had a pretty serious infection and they'd have a couple of those bags with the drips in hanging <clears throat> and I thought you know that'd be kind of cool to set up an engine and uh, have those drips and stuff going to it keeping it alive so every time I would go to visit him uh, the nurse would come in and change those bags and uh, she'd toss them in the garbage can and I'd fish them out, bring them home. So that's what I'm going to attempt. Okay, I got the little Briggs apart somewhat. I took the uh, oil pan off. Everything looked good in there. There was a little bit of oil and everything was nice and clean, surprisingly. Just took a little uh, gasoline, cleaned the pan out and stuck it back on. And it does turn, and uh, that valve's free. That one comes up. Yeah, it doesn't turn, but it does come up and down. Well, it will. <laughs> A little lubrication. And it won't turn all the way over. There's something stopping it. It's got to be something to do with this coil, because everything inside was looking okay. So, we'll get the flywheel off. I don't know if you guys can see in there or not, but that looks like it's going to be an interesting project. It's really rusty. Probably going to need some heat and some penetrating and some good luck. Let you know how I make out. Okay, got that flywheel nut off. Didn't have to use any penetrating, just a little bit of heat with a propane torch and uh, Dewalled impact and remembered it was left hand thread came off pretty nice But the problem wasn't the coil it took a couple bullets in the flywheel And they're hitting on something on the other side, so get that flywheel off. We'll take a look see Well flywheels off and as you can see there's where the two bullets spoke through Matter of fact, looking at it, I believe one of the bullets is still stuck in there. And right there's the reason it wouldn't only turn part way. Those two screws that hold that cover on was what was interfering. So next we'll get that cover off, take a look, see what the points look like. And we're going to need to get access to them because we're going to need those to run the uh, external life support. Okay, I got the cover off, got the points out, got them all cleaned up. Uh, put a test lead on there for the points. We're going to 
test them, make sure they're they're working. We just stick one in here for a crown, and I'll turn the shaft, and the meter should go to zero. There we go. Points open, points closed. Points open. And I'm going to check the condenser. Got a little condenser checker. I push the button, it says it's about two microfarads. Hit this. If it holds a charge, you'll see a little jump in the meter. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good one. All right, so I think we got the point situation straightened out. Okay, I got the old head gasket scraped off the block. I think they had some of that old Permatex stuff on there and the homemade gasket. Whatever it was, I don't think it worked very well. Uh, I got a new head gasket. Got the head cleaned up. Runner tap down through the spark plug hole. Valve's all frayed up real nice. And then get the bolts back in her and see what we got compression wise. I've got about 50 pounds. Uh, probably get a little better after it runs a little bit. Get them valves freed up a little better. But I think we'll be okay. Okay, been working on the ignition for this one. I uh, found another coil and come up with a rig that's going to work external to the engine uh, using an original type coil. I had to put a ballast resistor on it, I'm going to use a 12 volt battery, and I had to separate the uh, primary and the secondary. So the original points are going to be turning the uh, primary on and off, and the secondary leads, one will go to ground, the other one will go to the spark plug. And hopefully you're going to be able to see this, if I turn it over by hand. see it hopefully uh, if not let me turn the lights out here and I'll give you a okay I got some of the components uh, laid out for the uh, life support system uh, got the coil Got a volt and amp meter for the juice coming into the life support. Got an RPM meter. Uh, got a temperature meter. 
Uh, gonna have to have an external fan because there's no shroud or anything on that. And uh, have to make a bracket to hold the drip bags for the fuel and the oil. So just trying to get some ideas how I want to lay it out and uh, what all I'm going to use. The meters are more or less just a coolness factor, I guess, just for entertainment purposes. So I'll get working on the uh, the box and wiring it up, and hopefully I can show you some of it along the way if I don't forget. The project's taken quite a while, so it's probably going to be in several parts. So keep watching. We'll keep building more pieces. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. See you later.